What is going on guys? Welcome to your 65th and last tutorial for this UDK beginner series. Now before you guys start freaking out, trust me, we are nowhere near finished learning the UDK. We have so much stuff to go over. However, every tutorial after this one is going to be rather advanced. So what I want to do on my website is I'm going to split all these videos up 1 through 65 in the UDK beginner series and then instead of making this series like 500 videos long I'm just going to be making another series that is going to be you know my intermediate and advanced series that I'm going to be putting the rest of the videos in. So I just think that's a better way to organize these videos like I said, instead of having just one series that's super long, I'm going to be putting the rest of these videos that I make in an intermediate and advanced playlist. So trust me guys, we are nowhere near finished learning the UDK. This is basically just a way that I can organize my videos better because like I said, from here on out, things are going to get a little more advanced. So if you're saying, alright, what exactly are we going to be learning? Because a lot of people have been messaging me and wanting to know. I'm going to be going over things such as, and this is just a few things physics, um, particle systems, I'm going to be teaching guys how to create user interfaces, I'm going to be teaching you guys like when you have a character that we're going to bring in, how to animate him, make his arms move, walk around, jump, and after all of that, I'm also going to be making another series that is called Unreal Script. Now, this is pretty much coding. You know how Kismet was kind of like visual coding? Well, Unreal Script is Unreal's custom programming language. So I'm going to be teaching that in another series. So again, the plans for the UDK are I'm going to finish up this series in this video, and then we're going to be teaching intermediate concepts in an intermediate UDK series. And then after that, we're going to be teaching Unreal Script. And if I have anything to teach after that, it's probably going to be an advanced so anyways, I'm out of breath. So that's actually why I made this video. I wanted to explain that. But I guess since we're already here, I might as well teach you guys about, you know, I might as well teach you guys something. Since this is a tutorial, so I know that I told you guys that I was going to be going over these volumes. But a lot of these volumes kind of have concepts that go behind them that I can't really explain. Now, for example, physics volumes. I can't teach this because I didn't teach you guys about physics yet. Um, level streaming, of course, we need to know about level streaming, which is like kind of a way to optimize your game. Light mass deals with lighting, basically. But I again, so a lot of these volumes, the concepts that go behind it, I didn't teach you guys yet, so I can't really go over all of them in a way that you can understand. However, one of the most common volumes, if not the most common volumes, is blocking volume. So I guess I can finish up the series with that. Blocking volume is just basically a volume that deals with collision, and we already know what collision is. So let me go ahead and right click my builder brush, and I'm going to set this equal to 512 and 512, and 256 for height looks pretty good. So just go ahead and build that. And now if I pop B and open my builder brush, actually I want to bring this down right there. I'm trying to make a force field around this object right here. So I'm just going to center it in all my... Hey, might as well move my stack mesh if I need to. And right there. So this volume is pretty much surrounding the static mesh. I just want to get somewhere in the center just so I can demonstrate. So now we have to go ahead and add a blocking volume. So if you go ahead and select your builder brush and right click on your volumes, just go ahead and hit blocking volume and it's going to add a blocking volume. So if we go ahead and slide up our builder brush or we can just go ahead and hit B to delete it or excuse me hide it rather then we can see that we now have a blocking volume around the static mesh so we're saying alright so does this block everything or only vehicles or you know does it block bullets well in order to tell it what we want it to block go ahead and select it and hit F4 this is going to bring up the properties for that blocking volume now under collision this is where we tell it what we want it to block. Now, no collision is worthless because if it was no collision, it basically, we wouldn't have even had to make a collision whatsoever or a volume. So this is pretty much means anything can get through it. Block all blocks everything. Well, I can't explain it better than that. So the two most common volumes you probably want to use, or excuse me, types of collision is block all, which means nothing can get through it. And for this example, I'm going to go ahead and just choose block all but weapons. So what that means is whenever we play our level, 
our character is going to bump into it and not be able to get through it but it can shoot through it if it wants to so let me go ahead and hit play from here and I'll show you guys and let me go ahead and rebuild my lighting since I did move that static mesh so I guess that now I can I was getting cotton mouse so that's a nice little break from that but yeah like I said I can't teach you all these volumes yet because I need to teach you guys the concepts and once I'm done teaching the concepts the volumes will just make sense to you so let me go ahead and hit play from here and now my static mesh is lit up and remember we have an invisible force field around the static mesh now which if we try to run into it look my user is stopping right there he can't get to that static mesh because that there are invisible boxes behind it or excuse me around it so now let me go ahead and try to run into it from this side not happening Haas so what I can do is since I set up block all but weapons I can shoot through it and check it out my weapon still hits it and leaves a mark right on the static mesh however it does block my user from getting to it so again this isn't really useful and you probably wouldn't set up a volume that actually did this because by the way static meshes already have collision built into them by default so I just want to explain to you guys what a blocking volume was because you know it's probably the most common type of volume that we're going to be using did I just mumble that? that you're going to be using so I thought I'd get that out of the way but anyways that's all I have for you guys for this tutorial thank you guys so much for watching and thank you guys for completing my UDK beginner series so from now what you need to do is move on to my UDK intermediate series to get all the rest of my videos so again one last time thank you guys for watching and uh, trust me we are nowhere near done learning the UDK. We have so much to look forward to. So uh, with that being said, I guess I'll see you guys in the next series.